That way. <laughs> Boy, it was really nice. <laughs> I speak unto thee this day, and I say if my own people would really learn to stand for the truth, I say that the truth would prevail in the earth. But I say that my people have become weak and feeble. I say they have become encrusted with demons. I say they have loved the God of self more than me. And I say they have not stood and stood and stood for the truth, declaring the same. Therefore, I say the truth has fallen in the streets. But I say when idol living God will raise forth, a repentant people, I say they will stand for truth. And I say when any man or woman will thoroughly repent and keep on repenting, I say they cleanse themselves of the unrighteousness that is found in their own carnality, that is found through demons, that is found in the world. But I say when men are refusing to repent, I say they are covering the very festering demons, they are covering the very rottenness of their own carnality, and they are covering the iniquity of the world because they are in friendship with the same. Now I say this day that I, living God, never called you to be in friendship with the world and the vanities contained therein, but I say that I've called you to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I've called my people to learn what it is to stand for the truth, to fight for the truth, to declare the truth, to love the truth. For I say it is true that the more you identify with me, the more you are able to stand in truth. But I say, if you are ever like a schizophrenic, having your identity with several masters, other lovers, other gods, then I say you are driven insane by the same. I say there are many of those who claim that they are my people, yet I say they are full of delusion and confusion because of serving many masters. That is, they think they can serve the world, they think they can please themselves and others, and they think they can bow down to demons and still somehow be found acceptable unto me. And I say that is why they are found under Babylon's Jesus, for I say they are none of mine. But I say that it is me, the living God, who is indeed bringing division amongst the ones who claim they are mine and proving who it is that they serve. And I say they are serving a multitude of other gods, other lovers, other power sources. And I say they are trembling in fear over the world and the threats of the wicked against them. And I say they will not stand for truth. And I say they are going in a way that will prove to be death unto them because they are far from me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live far from me, but I say that I call you to walk uprightly in me. That is, if you will indeed be participating in each day repentance revolution, then I say that severs all ties with sin. And I say when a man will truly make it his practice to daily repent, then I say that he can be uplifted in me. And I say that he can be brought forth in the truth, the light, the blessedness, the strength that I provide. Now I say this day when you really consider what a privilege it is to know me, to love me, and to serve me, I say be thankful each day unto me. That is, that you can be brought forth renewed each day in the blessedness, the strength, the truth that I give to my own. For I say it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and hope. And it is me, the living God, who will ever guide forth the ones who will believe upon me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to live centered upon self, for to do so is nothing but death to your spiritual life. For I say when any man or woman will only look out for what is best for them, rather than for others, rather than for those they influence by their behavior or misbehavior, I say such ones are selfishness personified. For I say, when you are loving the God of self, you absolutely cannot stand for truth. 
But I say you will stand for lies and delusions. You will stand for fabricated tales and crafty inventions. You will not be standing for me. Now I say this day that I will have been God. I'm giving the call to all who will hearken unto me, obey me, and walk in my way. And I say when I purpose a people to walk in me, then they are directed each day. And I say when I purpose a people to serve me in obedience and gladness, then I say they can be brought forth by me. But I say when a people are unwilling to be purposed by me, yet claiming they are mine, I say they are full of the deception of their own conception. For I say that I, the living God, do not call my people to be weak and enfeebled, not able to stand for truth, because they are loving other gods. That is, because they are promiscuous and adulterous in spirit, and want to serve many masters, then I say they are not serving me. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed intended to be the master of those who are serving me. That is, I am meant to be the all in all unto them. And I say that I'm meant to bear rule over my people in absolute obedience unto me. For I say my people are not meant to be deviating, taking up the ways of the heathen, actually fornicating in the spirit with the same and thinking somehow they stand for truth. For I say there are so many now who claim they are mine, they are weak and feeble, and I say they are disgraced to my name. For I say all the while they claim they love me, yet I say they serve everything that comes along. And I say they give themselves to a multitude of idols, then think somehow they are pleasing me. But I say they are fools who are bound in their folly, they are far from my way, and yes, they are fools before me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be a fool, but I say that I call you to be made wise by adhering unto me. That is, by coming forth in the blessedness, the truth, and the light that I offer day by day. And I say that I call you to know what it is to serve me, to love me, and obey me each and every day. And I say that I call you to know what it is to be kept, for I say that I will keep you. That is, if you keep yourself before me, if you keep on repenting, if you keep on facing things the way that they are. Now I say when a person is centered upon their own interest, I say that is all they will be concerned about. That is their own little world, their own little thing. And yes, they love it so. But I say that the end of selfishness is nothing but death and damnation of soul. For I say when a man is loving himself, he is not loving me. That is, when he puts himself as the preeminent factor in his life, that is all that he has. I say this day do not be loving self, but I say be abhorring yourself in the sense that you realize you need to be serving me. That is, that it is me you are meant to please, to obey, and follow after each and every day. For I say if you will indeed take up the offensive against your own carnality, subdue the beast and bring him into submission, then I say you will find you feel so much better in me. But I say when you let go and slob out and give way to the fool, I say you are giving way to death. I say this day that I the living God want a people who are ever valiant for truth, who are ever standing and coming forth in me. And I say that I want a people who will be giving themselves over to the way of righteousness rather than the way of fools. For I say you are not meant to live, to die, to perish as a fool, but I say you are meant to come forth ever standing in truth. And I say you are meant to keep declaring to the sin-sick world their need to repent. Now I say this day when I, the living God, do give you the light upon the path, and you will walk in the same, then I say you can be ever faithful and true unto me. But I say if you are ever deviating to make way for your own pet project, your own little demons, your own little world, I say you are separating yourself from my will. And I say you are going in your own willful ways that are stubborn and proud, and yes, you will perish in the same. For I say, when any will refuse to be conformed unto me, what is it that they conform unto? I say, they conform to the world, they conform to demons, they conform to the God of self, and I say that it brings destruction and damnation of soul. For I say, when you are choosing any other power source to be your master and lord, I say you are choosing lies. And I say you are choosing to be ruled by lies rather than me. And I say you are not serving me in the attitude of gratitude, but I say you are serving in adultery, you are serving in promiscuity and fornication with the world. For I say that I, the living God, do indeed hold men accountable for what it is that they are faithful unto. And I say if you are truly faithful unto me, you will see that I, the living God, 
will not withhold any good thing from you. And I say, when you will see the enemy attempt to assault and encamp against you, I say, if you keep on standing for truth, you will know victory through me. That is, you will know that it is me, the living God, who will give you the prevailing strength that can only be found through me. Now I say this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive of me. For I say, when you will be walking in the way of the upright, when you will continue in the blessedness, the strength, and the truth, then I say, you are brought forth by me. And yes, you will be able to walk on the demon powers that have sought to beset thee and overwhelm thee and grind them to powder in the same. But I say, when you are ever giving way to suggestions of demons, to the rantings of your own carnal mind, and to the persuasion of the world, I say, you are being covered in lies. And I say, when you are covered in lies, you will not stand for the truth. I say this day that I, the living God, am giving a call at this time for all men to repent. Why is it so? I say it is because all men everywhere are needy of repentance in their lives. And I say they are needy of turning from that which is iniquity, that which is corruption, and they are needy of walking uprightly in the truth. And I say you need to be honest with yourself, not ever making excuse and justification for who and what you think you are, but willing to be transformed to who and what I want you to be. For I say it is not what you think you are, it is not your own opinion that matters at all to me. But I say it is your obedience and to me your willingness to be transformed and come forth in my way. For I say you are not meant to be a law unto yourself, you are not meant to be pleasing, number one. But I say you are meant to put the fool to rest. That is, in the sense that you push down the old nature, the old way, and make your standard in me. For I say if you truly will measure up to what it is that I do live in God desire in you, you will not find any time for leisure in the sense that you do your own thing. But I say you will understand that it is me, the living God, you are meant to serve, and not a multitude of other gods. Now I say this day, be thankful to be disciplined, be thankful to be trained, be thankful to be made of use to me. For I say there are literally hundreds and thousands of them who claim they are mine, who are no use to me whatsoever. For I say they are merely puffs of wind declaring how great they are, when really they are in love with themselves. And I say they are serving a multitude of other gods, other lovers, and they are a stench unto me. Now I say this day, be thankful for the truth that separates you from sin. Be thankful for the way that I do guide you forth. And I say be thankful that each and every day you can be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. For I say it is me, the living God, who guides you forth in the truth, the life, the blessedness, the strength of who I am. And it is me, the living God, who will direct you, correct you, and give you my purpose time and again. Now I say, therefore, this day, be glad to continue, be glad to believe, be glad to receive each day of me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the way that is righteousness and truth, mercy and light and peace provided. And it is me, the living God, who does the light when you will pay heed unto me and walk in my way. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is the truth and the purpose, the hope and the peace of who I am. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever trusting, believing, and looking unto me, for I am the I am. And I say, continue to be ever guided forth in that which I give you time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is all righteousness. It is me, the living God, who is all mercy and truth. And it is me, the living God, who will ever direct, correct, and bring you forth. For yes, indeed, you are mine. Therefore, I say, continue in the way that I have purposed, the way that I have intended the way of the upright and be thankful unto me. And I say, be thankful to be able to live in, declare, and walk out repentance revolution each and every day. For I say, the call to repent is the truth, the very basic truth that men have need of in this time. And I say, when men will truly be humbled by repentance unto me and living and loving the same, then I say, they are able to be faithful unto me. But I say, when men are ever living under the delusions of Babylon's Jesus, I say, they will live and die and perish as fools. I say, this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is the standard of righteousness, that it is me, the living God, who is the mercy, the hope, and the peace provided. And I say, be thankful that through me you are uplifted, directed, and ever guided in the blessedness, the truth, the strength that I provide. And I say, be glad to continue in my way. You are the salt of the earth. But if salt has lost its taste, how shall its saltiness be restored? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled under people's feet. 
you are the light. The city that you set on a hill for not to be hidden. God is relentlessly putting forth the call to repentance, revolution, and ecclesia in Gavin. Are you willing to answer the call, or do you just want to play church? Now is the time to take action and get active in the war to rescue souls. The greatest pleasure in life is doing what people say you can't do.